to Soho Trent and the world. This is Six Towns Radio. Right, it's Six Towns Radio going over to the telephones because today on the line we've got Alan Clark. How are you doing, Alan? Hello there, I'm very well, thank you. And a lot of people will you know you uh, from Dire Straits, of course, and uh, now uh, the new incarnation, The Straits. Uh, how did yes. that come about? The Straits came about because um, I'd recently discovered Terence Rage, um, who, who is now our frontman, who replaces Mark Knopfler. Um, and as you can imagine that uh, trying to replace Mark Knopfler is, well, I, 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 I deemed it impossible, actually, until yeah. I discovered Terence. And, um, and then the opportunity to put a, ga- a band together for, came, came to me to put a band together for a charity show at the Albert Hall. And so I thought, well, I'll put a band together around Terence and we play some Die Straits material and it'll all be tickety-boo. And it was, it went down so well. It went down phenomenally well at the Albert Hall. And, um, so we decided to stay together and do some more shows. And, um, here we are two and a half, two and a half years later planning on playing in the UK in February. Yeah, yeah, really exciting. Um, a full month of touring, really. So what can the people who come along expect? Well, they can expect to hear um, Dire Straits songs, all, all of the uh, Dire Straits songs as though, as though they were seeing Dire Straits in, in, you know, in their, um, at their best, really. Uh, pe- people tell us, frequently tell us, that um, close their eyes and they're listening to Dire Straits in their heyday. And um, this is like a terrific band. I mean, this, this, this might be the best band I've ever played with. An amazing bunch of, bunch of musicians. We go down extremely well everywhere we play, and um, it's great fun. How do you decide what songs to play? Well, I mean, there's a, whole, there's, uh, there's a bunch of songs that you can't really not play, and, um, and then there's, there's one or two you can kind of throw in there as well. You know, and I mean, we play for like an hour and forty-five minutes, sometimes slightly longer, um, and uh, and most of that is the songs. You know, it's pretty much all the songs that we can't not play, not play. You know, you've got, you've got to play Tunnel of Love, you've got to play um, Brothers in Arms, Money for Nothing, Sultans of Swing, Romeo and Juliet. You know, there, there's well over an hour, and then there's Telegraph Road that takes fifteen minutes, and you know, there's, um, it goes on and on. Walk of Life. Yeah, of course, Walk of Life, uh, well, there's that keyboard intro, of course, which you're quite famous for. <laughs> uh, Walk of Life, well, yeah. that was a huge hit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so um, after Dire Straits disbanded, what did you get up to after that? I know you've worked with quite a lot of artists on albums, etc., but what else have you been up to? Um, all sorts of things, uh, playing with other people, um, uh, making music for television, um, I do, I've done a few commercials, um, Lots of things actually. I directed a little movie, and uh, I just sort of enjoy myself really. Uh, uh, lot, lots of songwriting at the moment because um, I'm writing songs for the Straits. Because we're we're putting a um, in the near future, we're going to be recording some uh, our own record. So that, that's the next adventure we're getting involved with. Oh, that was what I was just going to ask you. Is there going to be new material? So when can the fans look forward to hearing that? Well. And then recording in um, starting the recording in January, but um, it'll it'll probably take. We're going to do it in little fits and starts, really, rather than in one in one go. Um, you know, with Dire Straits, we used to go away for three months and come back, and we had brothers in arms or whatever. <laughs> um, but you know, that's it. it's incredibly expensive to do that, and um, uh, and you know, it's difficult to keep uh, keep this guy this bunch of musicians together uh, for for a couple of weeks. Never mind three months so um we're going to do it in fits and starts so i don't know how long i don't know when the record will be coming out but next year definitely yeah and tell us about some of the musicians in the straits are there people you've worked with for a long period of time or people you've met in the last few years um a whole bunch of things really um the drummer is steve ferroni uh who plays who's been with uh tom petty and the heartbreakers now for 20 coming up to 21 years um Still is with Tom Petty. We share him with Tom Petty, basically, but we're very lucky because Tom is now 65 and he's kind of semi-retired, really. So he, he kind of makes records. He makes a record and tours for a couple of weeks and then spends the rest of the time um, setting himself, I guess. So <laughs> um, <laughs> so leave Steve free to play with us. Um, and then we've got, uh, on bass, we've got Mickey Fayette, a phenomenally good 
English-based player. Well, actually, he's a French guy, but he lives in the UK. Um, and then we've got uh, Jamie Squire, who... Jamie Squire is 25, an amazingly talented young man with a, with a vo- the voice of an angel, um, who, uh, who grew up in the same village that I lived in, in Northumberland. That's how I came to know him and, um, rec- and recognized his talent when he was about eight years old. Um, and then I've got um, Adam Phillips uh, on second guitar, an uh, amazing guitar player, plays on lots and lots of records. He's a session guitar player, essentially, in the UK. Uh, and, of course, Chris White, uh, my colleague from Dire Straits on saxophone, and myself, and Terence Rage, on the, 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 who I've already mentioned, fronting the band, the, the most difficult job of, uh, that we, uh, of all of us, really. Yeah, sounds like a talented bunch there. <laughs> I did allude to the fact you've worked with some great artists. You've worked with Clapton, Dylan, Tina Turner, the Bee Gees. Um, you've had a, a rich history of working in the music business. Um, what has been the greatest uh, achievement, do you think, besides Dire Straits? The greatest achievement? Well, um, I, I, working with every one of those people is, has been amazing. Um, there's been some great highlights. I mean, I remember sort of when I, the first Dylan record I worked on, the first track I ever did with Bob Dylan in the studio, I remember sort of closing my eyes and um, and hearing Bob start to sing, and um, it took me right back to lying on my on the floor of my apartment listening to his Desire album just a few just a few years earlier. You know, about three or three or four years before that, I'd kind of like been listening to his record. You know, so you know, there's a few, but but basically, I think what what motivates me the most is essentially is um is making people happy and that's what music does it really does anything uh, that you do you can do listening to music exactly and you know there's no uh, I, I, I can think of no no uh, better way to make a living than making people happy you know oh, what a great way of putting it well uh, i look forward to the straits tour in february alan uh, i wish you all the luck with it and i can't wait to hear those songs yeah. Well, come along, and uh, I promise you, uh, everyone, you will not be disappointed. <laughs> and we've we've purposely kept the ticket prices down, so that uh, people can afford to come and see us, and and um, so that everybody can come and enjoy themselves, and uh, we enjoy ourselves. Uh, you'll enjoy yourselves, and uh, it'll be great fun. I'm sure it will be. Thank you very much for coming on the phone today. You're welcome, man. Thank you. <laughs>